Hi, I'm Children's Writer Sarah Webb and welcome to Messages for Sixth Class. I'm delighted to welcome you. Today we will be watching videos from an array of marvellous and amazing people, from writers to sports people, scientists and activists. Each of them have made a very special video just for you, Sixth Class, because the Sixth Class of 2020 are amazing and remarkable. So have a great summer. We all wish you all the best in the future. And remember, you are the star of your own story. So make it a wonderful story. I'm now going to introduce the videos. They are funny, they are heartfelt, they are inspirational, and above all, they are absolutely for you. The future scientists, the future writers, the future activists, the future sports people. And as Sinead Burke said, our future presidents of Ireland. So enjoy our messages for sixth class. Hi, my name is Sinead Burke. I am a teacher, a writer, and an advocate for disabled people. But actually, this isn't about me. It's about you. Congratulations. You have done it. I will never forget seeing the relief on my students' faces when they finished sixth class, and a little bit of nervousness too, as they were leaving all of the environments and their friends that they were familiar with and about to go into a whole new space. It can be a little bit scary, but don't worry, you've got this. I'm so honored to be speaking to you because who knows who's watching? Maybe it's the next president of Ireland. Maybe it's the first female Taoiseach. Maybe you watching this, maybe you might go to the moon. Or maybe you might go to the burren and explore and discover a whole new set of fauna. Maybe you're gonna be a musician who will tour the world, entertain millions of people in enormous stadiums. Maybe you'll be a teacher like me and inspire the next generation of children to think about education as something that will always be a part of them. Maybe you'll be an artist and your work will be displayed in galleries at home and abroad. Maybe you'll be a scientist and come up with a cure for something that we desperately need. Who knows? And the best part is, anything is possible. Because maybe your dream job or the part you play in society that might not even exist yet. Maybe you'll be the first. Congratulations. I am so thrilled for you. You have worked so hard to get to this moment and not just you, your family and your friends. Maybe your parents or somebody at home sat with you every Thursday before a spelling test, or maybe they helped you with your homework or if something wasn't going so great at school, they gave you the pep talk and the words that you just needed to hear. So congratulations to all of you. Enjoy this moment. Revel in it. And secondary school is up next. Best of luck. Hello, sixth class. Um, this is Owen Colifer here. Uh, I am an author. Um, I wrote the uh, Artemis Fowl books um, for young people, which is uh, will shortly be on Disney Plus as a movie. So I know this is a very strange time for you. Uh, you come to the end of sixth class and you're thinking, fantastic. Soon we're gonna have a mini graduation. It's a big celebration. All my friends will get together. It's all, uh, and you know, I feel your pain. It's not happening. We're all stuck in uh, lockdown. I'm lucky to be here in this uh, really nice office, which is not too bad. And I'm trying to connect uh, to the memory of what it was like, you know, when you were 12. And there's a lot of things uh, I don't understand about being 12 or 13 or 11, whatever it is you, you are now. Um, I don't understand why you have to shout at the television all the time uh, without wearing headphones. Um, I don't understand a lot of the hand gestures you make when you're out in the bed. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't understand video games uh, at all. I don't understand most of the modern music. I don't. I don't understand TikTok. What it, you're just miming along. Is that miming? 
uh, two little bits of movies, and then at the end you put together a whole lot of things I don't understand, which is the dancing, the hand gestures, and the shouting uh, at whatever device. So all of those things I don't understand. But what I do understand and what I do remember is that feeling of expectation that you had when you were just coming to the end uh, of primary school uh, and you were thinking of all the places you would go and all the people you would meet uh, when you're going to secondary school and how exciting that was because I think there's something very special about that crossover. Finally, you're, you're being drawn to your own people so you can choose the classes you want to go to. You will meet people with the same interests as you. You'll get to go on fantastic tours, trips, You'll do experiments, you'll have a lot more equipment in, in your laboratories. It's a very exciting time um, to be young and to be taking that big step. And this summer would be a very exciting summer um, when you're kind of maybe saying goodbye to some friends and saying hello to new ones. And that now uh, is not going to happen. Um, there's going to be a very, very different kind of summer for all of us uh, and one that we have to stick to the rules because we want to take care of our parents or grandparents uh, or anyone else that might be vulnerable in our family. But So I just wanted you to know as, as, as one of the many writers of the Irish family that we haven't uh, forgotten about you, uh, that we are trying to, uh, um, you know, we're trying to remember you in our work and trying to send our work to you and that, you know, we'll be there for you when you come back. Uh, and that there's always books. If you want to go places for now, it's going to have to be up here and we are here to help you get to those places. So if you want to go to a fairy world, you can maybe uh, read one of my books and that will help you uh, get deeper into your imagination. So keep your chin up, uh, stay strong, keep the dream alive and pretty soon you're going to be back with all those new friends and hopefully uh, a lot more new ones. So this is Owen Coffer in isolation in Dublin wishing you good luck and I'll see you soon in person. Hi six class, I'm Zainab Boladale. I'm a reporter and presenter with RTE. I previously worked on the children's news program called News Today and now I work for Nationwide. Six class students, oh my, you're all gonna be teenagers next year. That's really exciting. I remember being 13 and the biggest thing on my mind was OMG, I'm going to secondary school. You're nervous, you're a bit excited, you're a bit worried, what's it like? So many new subjects, so many new teachers, a new schedule. It's a lot of things coming up, especially in the fact that at this moment, there's a lot of things happening in the world. The world has kind of turned upside down lately. And it's a bit, it's a bit upsetting that you can't be in school and say goodbye to your teachers and your friends, but you still have a lot to look forward to. September is gonna be a big start to something very different that you haven't experienced before. And I suppose I don't, I don't want you guys to feel too disheartened that, you know, things are a bit crazy at the moment because they will settle down. And when you go back to school, you'll have so many new things to look forward to. And oh my, being a teenager is so fun. Um, you get a lot more freedom. You find out a lot about yourself. Um, you find out what you like, what subjects you like, and what subjects you don't like. It's a very interesting time that you're going into. And I wish all of you in sixth class the very best of luck with whatever schools you're going to. And I also want you to know, despite the fact that we're going through uncertainties at the moment, I'm certain that you're going to grow and flourish next year. Hi, this is John Boyne. I'm the author of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And my brother's name is Jessica and uh, lots of other books that you may have read. Uh, so I guess you're all finishing up sixth class now and probably thinking, why can't I be there um, with my friends and celebrate the end of six years? The same thing happened to me when I was about 12 years old. Uh, I was finishing my junior school, my sixth class when my appendix burst and I was brought into hospital and I missed the last couple of weeks of school and I missed my friends and I missed the going away parties. And I was quite upset about it actually at the time. I was uh, remember that. But one thing that happened to me while I was having that operation or in the aftermath was my mother brought me in um, the seven Narnia books by C.S. Lewis. And I got completely into them. I really fell for this, this wonderful world through the wardrobe. And it was maybe the start of me trying to then start writing novels for myself or write stories myself. I got, uh, uh, once I got home, I started taking characters from those books 
and I started writing news stories with them in it, which is basically plagiarism, but you know, don't tell anybody. And all through my teens, then I kept writing and a lot of it came from the fact that I just needed that um, uh, resource while I was sick and while I was in, in hospital. After that, you know, I, you know, all I wanted to do was write and that's what I've done with my life. And in terms of the places you go, it's taken me all over the world. I'm going to show you, I'm in my office here at the moment and you'll see, um, you know, this lovely globe. Oh. And writing has taken me to, I think, all five continents uh, all around the world. And there's still a lot, a lot of places to go, I suppose, uh, with the books that I've written and meeting readers and meeting other writers. It's been a wonderful experience. It's been a wonderful life so far and uh, lots more to come. So look, hopefully you found something um, good to do, something important to do during this lockdown and during all the time that you've been off and uh, you won't miss um, the end of school too much. You'll be back there in September probably and you'll be you're longing for these days of freedom. But uh, have a great uh, have a great summer ahead. OK, see ya. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Marita Colin McKelly here with a special message for everybody in sixth class to wish you all the best and wonderful times ahead of you um, when you start your new school. But I know how sad it is for you and how strange it is for you not to be in school at the moment, especially not to have time to enjoy that rite of passage that going from sixth class into secondary is because I know you've all had a wonderful time in your lovely schools and you've loved being there and loved your teachers and loved all those years you've had with all your friends in sixth class and now that time is coming to an end and you're not even with your friends or not even with your teachers and all the wonderful things you planned like your graduation that they've all gone out the window everything's up in the air at the moment and I know because my own little granddaughter Holly is in sixth class as well and I know she was really looking forward to so many things confirmation the um graduation party, playing a match against her teachers, signing their t-shirts and sweatshirts, getting photos with all her friends, putting on a class play, all the wonderful things they planned have all gone now. But you know something, even though you're not together, you still have all your friends and all the friends you made from that first day you went into primary school until you left, leave your school now, will always still be your friends. You'll never, you'll never um, not have them around. And I'm very lucky some of my friends I started school on the same day with were still friends. We've kept that friendship. It was only a while ago that you were all little junior infants starting school and going in nervously. And now look at you, grown up sixth class, all ready to go into secondary, almost teenagers, ready to move. I remember when I started school, the first day I went in really happy as Larry. But the second day my mum brought me, I said, no, I didn't want to go. And I said, I have to go to the toilet. And they brought me to the baby toilets, the junior the toilets. The first thing I did was I locked myself in the toilet and I wouldn't come out. And then after a while, my mum was sent home and I would not come out. And after a while, I heard all the children playing and singing and happy and having games. And I opened the little lock and I went out again. But the next day I went back to school. I said, I don't want to go to school again. And of course, I said I have to go to the toilet again. My mum and the nun brought me to the toilet. So I went to lock the door, the locks were gone. The nun had got clever and taken all the locks off every toilet door. So from then on, and that trick wouldn't work of any junior infant locking themselves in the toilet. It was a bit of a tricky start, but I love my school and I love with all my friends and I love my teachers. And I was sad to leave it too the way you are. But you know something? I still have my friends. All of us, and we learn so much in our school. That's where you learn to read. That's where you learn to draw and, and, and learn to think. And of course, all that learning you've learnt in your little school, you're going to bring with you into your next school. And though you say goodbye to your yard and the corridors and the classrooms and the tree you used to climb when you were a little girl or a little boy, um, all the learning you've had there will go with you. And um, best of luck on your new school. There'll be lots of opportunities. The world, you know, our brains are small and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're going to learn more and more as you go on into your new school. And you're going to make new friends, new classrooms, new corridors. Oh, lots of new teachers and even new supports you want to try out and new subjects too. So it's very exciting and I wish you all the best in the times ahead. And who knows, someday you might say, oh, there's Marita Colin McKenna coming to visit us at our new school. And that I'd be happy to see you all there. So take care and keep reading, keep writing, keep drawing, keep cartooning, keep all that creativity you've grown up to sixth class. Keep that with you and bring it into your new school. Take care. Hello everybody, Don Conroy here. I'm here just to wish you all the very best for the future. 
And remember, I know we're living in very strange times and indeed uh, scary times for a lot of people. But remember, never let fear rule your life. It's okay to be afraid, but don't let it rule your life. So you're now, it's like you're involved in a great book and you are the book and you're helping to write it. So you finished the chapter and now we are heading off to a very exciting chapter two. And may there be many chapters. I, in a sense, was lucky <laughs> from the age of four, in a sense. Uh, I was started on the creative journey. Didn't realize exactly what that was. But I started drawing and I started looking at things because I was drawing in it, what I felt a creative way. So my eyes are wide awake to the wonders of life. And we all have that. We all have creative imagination. And it's so important. So it's good to develop life skills, even things you've never tried before, have a go. And the great thing is, when you're in class and you get to become friends with people, maybe not friends with others, but nevertheless, you're all in the same, so to speak, boat. And you should look out for each other, care for each other. And as I said, the world is your oyster. You can uh, write, you can sing, learn the guitar, whatever you want to do. So just open up to life in a very, very positive way. So as I said, you're heading out into another lovely chapter in your life. And I really wish you all the very best. So stay strong, stay safe, and stay creative. Take care, bye. Hi there, I'm Judy Curtin and I'm a writer and I'm here with a message for the sixth class of 2020. When I was your age, I was very sweet and innocent, and the most trouble I was ever in at the time I was caught reading a book under my desk when I was supposed to be practicing my sewing. So yeah, I was a real rebel. When I was 12, I had no clue where my life was going to take me. I knew I wanted to be a writer, but for a long time I wasn't confident enough to try that. And I think it's fair to say I took a scenic route. I had lots of jobs in my life, including working in a gurking factory, working as a teacher, I was a tour guide, I worked in a Chinese restaurant, and once I made silk dolls and tried to sell them. And that was a complete disaster, which shows I really probably should have paid att more attention in sewing class. I'm so sorry well, for all of you that you missed so much of sixth class. You didn't spend enough time with your friends, you didn't do all the things you'd hoped to do, and you missed out on a few months of being the oldest and the boldest in the school, which I think is you know, a special privilege, and I'm sorry that you missed out on that. I'm sure some of you are raring to go and dying to get on to secondary school. And maybe some of you are a little bit nervous and wish you could stay in sixth class forever. And that's okay, because this is a time of big change. And change is exciting, but it's scary too. But remember, it's always interesting. So I hope all of you go on to do wonderful things. And something you have to keep in mind is that of all the sixth classes ever, you're going to have the best stories to tell your grandchildren. Good luck. Hi everyone, uh, Gordon Darcy here. I want to wish you a huge congratulations on your sixth class graduation. What an incredible achievement and your whole family must be super proud. There are really, really exciting times ahead um, with uh, new schools, some new and some old friends. Uh, so make sure you really, really enjoy this monumentous uh, achievement. So well done again. Hello, everyone. My name is Patricia Ford. I write for children and young people. Uh, I'm here today to say congratulations. Well done. You survived primary school. You got through the long division and the Mokanilach and everything else they threw at you. And now you're ready for the next big chapter. You're off to secondary school. Think of all the things you have to look forward to. The junior cert, the leaving cert, after school study. No, I'm only joking. You have great things to look forward to. The friends you're going to meet, some of them might even be teachers. The fun you're going to have. All of that is there waiting for you. But for now, because at the tender age of 12 or 13, you made a big sacrifice and didn't go back to school one last time. You saved lots of lives. I think that makes you all heroes. 
what a great way to start the next phase of your life. And today, I'm sure you're thinking about all the people who helped you get this far. Your families, your teachers, your friends. And maybe in some small corner of your heart, you'll remember all the books. The books that were read to you, the books you read yourselves as you went through the school. And maybe going forward, you'll still take those stories and books with you and they'll help you on the next phase of your journey. One thing's for sure, when we look back, we'll all remember the class that graduated in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. And you'll always have a great story to tell. Hello, boys and girls in sixth class all over Ireland. Hope you're doing okay. Very strange times, very strange way to end your uh, primary school time, but I hope you're doing okay and staying in touch with your friends. Uh, I've met loads of you, my name is Shane Hegarty, I would have met loads of you around the schools and at festivals when I was talking about my books, Darkmouth, all about a boy who has to fight monsters but doesn't want to do it, and more recently the boot books, it's all about a robot who wakes up in a grinder about to be mashed into a million pieces, and uh, yeah, so I've met loads of you, but around about now I'm supposed to be giving you some kind of wisdom and some kind of very smart advice on the journey forward. Here's the thing. I'm not very wise and my wisdom and advice is usually rubbish. So I thought instead, because I've written a book about a robot and I have a robot dog in it, I thought I'd get the dog that inspired one of the robot dogs in my books to help us. And Georgie, what do you think the boys and girls should do? What's that, Georgie? Oh, that's a good idea, Georgie. Georgie thinks you should do your own school reports and give yourselves top marks for everything. Hey, Georgie, what else should they do? What's that? Oh, skip straight to second year. They don't even have to stay, go into first year. They can go straight to second year in school. That's amazing. What else? What else? Hey, Georgie, what else should they do? Oh, Georgie says you should get free ice cream from the government for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's true. I know, crazy, but it sounds like a good idea to me. So there you go, Georgie. That's not my advice, that's Georgie's advice that you have to listen to. So take all that advice and take it forward with you. Tell them, Georgie, the robot dog says it's okay. And best of luck to all of you, even though you can't. Yes, that's right, Georgie. Best of luck, says Georgie. And have a good time when you go into secondary school and hopefully all this stuff will get back to normal soon and you'll have great memories of your time with your friends in primary school. Bye. Hi, sixth class students. It's Amy Huberman here. I just wanted to wish you all the very best in your graduation from junior school. Such a big moment. Um, and I know it's very disappointing at the moment with everything that's going on that you won't be able to have your send off when you should do. But um, I'm sure that all your teachers and your friends and your parents are planning a great party when all of this is done. And it's something to really look forward to. Um, gosh, it feels like only yesterday when I was finishing school, even though it is a long time ago. And that first day of starting secondary school and the excitement and the nerves. And I was really scared about leaving some of my friends because not many of my friends are going to sec the same secondary school as I was. Um, and my best mate wasn't. And I was, I was, I was so sad and so, so nervous about that. But um, I remember all the smells and the noises and the scariness and the change of uniform. Um, but you know, that's only, that's only for a few days and then it's the new normal. Um, and I missed my best mate, I really did. But uh, that friendship, we're still in touch and we went to different secondary schools. She now lives in a different country, but I often think of it as just like my first proper relationship outside my family. And uh, she felt like a sister to me. Um, and you've got all of that to look forward to in secondary school and all those experiences and all those adventures with new friends. Um, and I think it's always good to feel a little bit nervous because it means that you, you care and that you're looking forward to all, all these new exciting adventures. Um, so well done on finishing school number one. That's amazing. Um, and all the hard work you've done, um, all the teachers that you've had, all the friends that you've made, um, everything that you've learned along the way and everything that you have to learn and the excitement in that. Um, and it's the next, the next phase of the adventure. So I wish you all the very best and well done for all the hard work. Um, and I hope that you get a really big celebration when, when all of this pandemic stuff is over um, and you get to celebrate properly and wishing you all the best and lots and lots of love. Bye. Hi, I'm Paul Howard 
and I'm the co-author of Gordon's Game with Gordon Darcy. And I just want to say congratulations, you did it. You got through primary school. It's absolutely fantastic and I'm delighted for you. Um, you're facing into a long, hopefully enjoyable summer holiday now. And at the end of it, you're going to be starting in a new school. Um, there's gonna be lots of new adventures, lots of new friends. The most exciting thing I found uh, starting a new school was that I got to take all of those things that really, really annoyed my teachers about me in primary school and inflict them on a whole range of new teachers in secondary school. So some of you will be saying goodbye to old friends and making new friends, but um, I hope some of you will hang on to at least some of your old friends. That's a really good idea. I can give you that advice. Um, my best friend in the world uh, was a friend I met in primary school and we're still best friends today. We've known each other since we were 10. Either I can't get rid of him or he can't get rid of me. It's one or the other. But congratulations anyway. I know finishing school this way isn't ideal, that you'd like to see each other and say goodbye in person. Um, but I'm sure when things return to normal, which they will, um, your parents, your, your teachers will throw a huge party for you um, and enjoy it when it happens. Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Cindy Joyce, member of President Higgins, Council of State, and I'm just sending this message on for the six class students that are transferring into secondary school this year. I know that it can be quite daunting and a difficult time for some students moving from one school to another. Um, particularly, I suppose, moving from um, primary into secondary school, it can be quite daunting. Um, I suppose having new teachers, new friends, new classrooms and new subjects. Um, and I suppose while at the same time missing your old friends and your old teachers. But one of the things that I would like to say to you is to be yourself and to remember that um, if you feel that uh, you are not belonging, which um, I suppose coming from my own experience, there were times where I felt that uh, coming from the Minkyard community, uh, not belonging within the school system, I felt that um, it was quite difficult at times for me but however I stuck to it and I remembered to um, be myself and I suppose one of the important things um, that I would like to say to you is that you can do it too. Um, coming from the Minkyard community um, it was difficult for me but I would never have taught um, within secondary school at that time that I would end up as a doctor in sociology but and also um, as a member of President Higgins Council of State and that just goes to show that, um, that difference can be celebrated and difference can be beautiful and I, I would just like for you to remember that um, you concentrate on yourself and who you are and um, what you want to do and once you put your mind to that you can do it and I just want to wish you well in your years to come within secondary school and to remember the times that you were down, remember that you will get through it and that, there were, that you will look back on it and you will, be, you will be grateful that you pushed through it and continued um, on with your education. And because um, education is important. Um, I suppose if you if you want to go places in, in, in life, uh, one of the things for me was to um, be educated and to uh, remember that um, you are your own individual and to remember that you're, you're important and you're needed and loved in society and um, thank you very much for listening to me and I just want to wish you well and thank you. Goodbye. Hi guys, just a short message to say a huge congratulations on finishing sixth class. I remember my own journey back then and how excited I was to finally starting secondary school. So I hope you're all as excited as I was and you're looking forward to the big journey ahead of you. Congrats again. Hi everyone, Mark the Science Guy here and I'm excited to wish you all the very best of luck on your new adventures. I look back on my primary school days and it makes me smile and it'll make you smile too. And as you look forward, make sure you're smiling as well. My journey started with being curious and wanting to know more about the world and the things I liked. I encourage you to do the same as you go on your journey. Ask questions, believe in yourself, and don't be afraid to be wrong. I fail more than anyone I know. But it's not failing if you think of it as practice. The only way to get better is to practice. Continue to be nice to people. You never know what the power of a smile, a compliment, or an act of kindness can do. I was lucky to do the things I like doing, 
playing professional football and studying science. And now I do science all across the world, meeting cool people, making TV shows and working in an awesome science center. There are lots of amazing people around the world. Be inspired by the right people, the right information and for the right reasons. Do more of the things you like doing. There's never been a better time in history to follow your dreams. You guys at the future will change the world. And on the way there, you'll have some amazing experiences. Some will be great, some not so great. Some will be easy, some will be challenging, but they'll all be yours. Believe in yourself. You'll all have ideas that'll change the world. Best of luck, guys. Hi, my name is Naomi and I'm a scientist. And this is my message for sixth class. And what a year you've had, hey? Uh, I know you waited a long time to become sixth class, to become the leaders in the school. And often, sixth class are asked to take a little bit extra work or a little bit extra commitment. Um, but never in our recent history have they been asked to take on the challenges that you guys have taken on. And it's not easy, is it? You had to go home, leave school, stay at home and continue from there. But from what I hear, you've done an amazing job. You've kept up with your schoolwork as best you can. And you've kept in contact with your teachers and your friends and your classmates. And you've done all that while staying at home. So well done. I know it's a really big challenge. And I know you're in school and the end of year and your friends. But what you've done is literally saved lives. So what I want to do is, I want to firstly thank you and you may have been part of uh, that national clapping of hands to thank people like frontline workers. Uh, but this time, thanks is for you. But rather than do clapping of hands, I thought I'd use a little bit of science to help me get this message to you. So how about something a little bit cooler than a clap? We're gonna try doing a high five with the aid of science. Do that. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't pop. Okay, so that's your high five to say thank you. Now, I also imagine, because I feel it too, I imagine that you're thinking this has gone on forever and it has been a long time, but it really will stop. And when it does stop, you can continue on with all these wonderful adventures that you have in your future. You're going to secondary school and you're going to be the ones that take over all the roles in this world in this country in the future. So you may all soon be on your new adventures and your journeys and maybe you'll take different paths and different routes to get there but you will get there and as Dr. Sue says in all the places you will go. So I just wanted to say thank you and I wanted to remind you that it will end and I wanted to wish you well on all the adventures that you do have coming up ahead of you. Hello, all you fine people in sixth class. I'm Derek Landy, author of School Delivery Pleasanton. Right now, you're probably screaming in excitement. A few of you have probably fainted. That's fine, perfectly normal. Uh, you're not gonna be ending your primary school um, life uh, in, in the same way that um, other kids have done. So I'm just here to try and make things a little bit more special. <laughs> I haven't a clue how, so. Oh, wait, I do. You're gonna have a fantastic time in secondary school. The friends you make there will make the friends you have now look like complete idiots. <laughs> Believe me, I'm a chicken and an egg. Hello, my name's Sinead Moriarty and I'm a writer and I've written a little piece called Do Not Be Beige. The reason I've chosen beige is because beige is a colour that nobody notices. So do not be beige. Be sunflower yellow, be cerise, be indigo, be scarlet. Do not be beige. Look up, look around, be brave, be fearless, travel, open your eyes, notice everything. Talk to all the people that you meet. Stay away from beige. Beige will crush your spirit. Beige is conforming, being the same as, fitting in, blending in. Don't do it. Get off the fence, rock the boat, stand up for what you believe in. Be passionate, be strong, get involved. Think about what's going on around you. Don't live your life in a bubble. Fill your creative well. Read books, go to the theatre, look at amazing art, read poetry. 
Don't let knockbacks stop you from achieving what you want in life. Not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody is going to like what you do, say, wear, or think, but it doesn't matter. If you are true to yourself and you believe in what you're doing, keep at it. Trust your gut. Be who you are meant to be. Success does not come to lazy people. You have to go out and get it. You have to work hard and be disciplined. You have to really want it and you have to earn it. But remember, success is not about money. It's about fulfillment and loving what you do. So try and find something that you love to do. It's a blessing and a privilege to do something you love to do for your life. Likewise, value your friends. They are very precious. They will hold you up in times of trouble. They will hold your hand when you're struggling and they will also cheer you on when things go right. Be generous, be kind and be thoughtful. It's free and it's very, very important to be that kind of person in life. Trust your sense of humor. It will get you through dark times. Laugh loud and laugh often. And most of all, remember this. You get from life what you give. Good luck. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley McGann and I write and illustrate books. And for all of you who are finishing up six class this year, I'd like to say, get out, get out now before they change their minds and decide to keep you there for another few years. Because sometimes your adults say that the school years were the best years of your life. This is a lot of rubbish, of course. Anyone who's ever done home will know this is rubbish. It would be a terribly depressing thought to believe that the best bits of your life were over before you barely got started. But this is a really important time in a person's life, and you know this better than any kids who come before you because those final days of school and all that come with them have been taken from you. Because you're missing them, you know exactly how important those days are. We're living through strange times, through events that will be reported in history, and what's happening is teaching us a lot about what's most important to us. You're at an incredible stage in your lives. You're old enough, experienced enough to start understanding how the world around you shapes who you are. And yet you're still young enough that you have plenty of time to decide what to do about that. And no matter what you decide to do, you'll have an effect on the people and on the world around you, just as they're affecting you. I know this is tough on you. I know you'll be nervous about everything that's changing and it's hard to see what's coming next, but I know you'll be excited too. The only ambition I have that actually worked out was that I wanted to spend most of the days of my life doing things that I enjoy. Your school days might or might not be the best days of your life, but pack as much life into them as you can. Be curious, be kind, try new things, find out what it is you love doing and do more of it. You'll figure the rest out as you go. Have a great future. Hello, I'm Philip Reeve. And I'm Sarah McIntyre. We write books that you might have heard of, like Oliver and the Sea Wigs, Pugs of the Frozen North and The Legend of Kevin. We wanted to send you a big congratulations at the end of your time in primary school. Yes, it's been a really strange time in lockdown and I hope you've been doing all right in your house or your flat or like us, your tower. So do we have any wise words we should impart to them to mark the occasion? Yes, well, while we've got you here, I think we should probably say something quite serious. I think what we should say is, Oh, hang on. Ah! Well, that was something. You know, a lot of things are really messed up right now. Mm -hmm. But to get the kind of future we want, we have to be able to imagine it. So what did you imagine when you were younger, Sarah? Well, I imagined I could become a mermaid, or a polar explorer, or an astronaut. And look how that worked out. Well, it kind of has. We got to imagine the most magnificent mermaid in Oliver and the Sea Wigs. Hello, I'm Oliver. And I'm Iris. And we are the stars of Oliver and the Sea Wigs. Woohoo! Woo Yay! And we got to journey to the frozen north with 66 pugs. <laughs> and we even got to go into space with Astra space. It's been brilliant. Yeah, except I'm still stuck under this fallen tower. Well, yes, there is that. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Good luck. Yes, congratulations. Good luck. Hi, Ronga Shea. I'm Anya Nicklin, and I am the new Laureate Nanog, the sixth children's laureate. I know it must be very strange for all of you now, coming to the end of your eight wonderful years in primary school and not having the chance to say a face-to-face -face goodbye 
to the friends that have been with you for so long and to your teachers who have done so much for you. So I have written a short poem for this year's Rangashe, which I'll read to you now, and it's called Slán. Ocht mlíne anish, o dog me slán, eg ma wami eg an dars, is ma gá huil lán. Ach fi seal nua róm, is galór lór sprí, galór cárt an nua, is galór chivni. Ocht mlíne untache le dalti ella. Kind is a sugra thresh arm scala. A fallen, a glare, the sigimert trahi. Time an an vuich, thus no moon tori. Anish thresh bacht mlina. Kahime slan a agail egan monskal. Is a rich, moha huil long. Slan the corda, nach vakame the couple me. Ach baishiv lum. And Rangashe, those friends, wherever you go, whoever you meet, whatever places you see in the future, those friends will always be there in your heart. Winigitanov Asansara Agus Ganairi Gagyal Liv Sasail Amachroif. Hello, I'm Alan Nolan, author and illustrator of loads of books for kids, including Finton's 15, Connor's Caveman, and the Sam Hannigan series for the O'Brien Press. Because I write books, I spend a lot of time going around primary schools and talking to primary school children. And my favourite class is sixth class. Sixth class kids have been around the school for longer than any other kids. They're old hands and they know how the school ticks. They help out the younger kids, they know all the teachers really well, the best friends with the caretaker, and every Sunday they go golfing with the principal. Well, they don't go golfing with the principal every Sunday, but you get the idea. Six class kids rule the school. But it's always around this time of year, just coming up to the summer, that six class kids get a little restless. They're ready to move on to secondary school. Now, normally that comes after all the six class landmarks have been passed. The school trips, the confirmations, the graduations, and unfortunately, you guys are missing out on that. But it's still time to move on. After the summer, you'll be happily marching up the road to your secondary school. You'll meet up again with old friends from primary, and you'll make loads of new friends who went to different schools. It'll be different in lots of ways, but the same in lots of ways too. You'll miss the friends you weren't able to say goodbye to, but it's easy to stay in touch, so try to do that. My own 12-year-old, Sam, is in the same boat, He's in sixth class in Guardian Angels National School in Black Rock. I visited that school to do drawing and writing with them many, many times. So a big shout out to both sixth classes in Gans, to Mr O'Neill and to all the brilliant teachers there. Sam is sad to miss out on the end of sixth class and he misses the golf outings with the principal, of course, but he's dying to start in first year. He can't wait to get back to school. And that's the right attitude to have. Secondary school is something to look forward to and you guys are going to do great. So keep up with your schoolwork, keep reading, keep going out for walks, keep on keeping in touch with your friends and stay safe. It won't be long till we're all out and about again, so hold on. Secondary school, here we come. Hi to all the sixth class students. I'm Joanna Reardon, disability rights activist, Irish Times sports columnist and podcast host for Cork's Red FM. When I was in sixth class, um, I think it was 2007 actually when I graduated from sixth class. The first place actually I wanted to go was across the road to Centra and get a hot chicken fillet bowl. Um, the graduation was super long, <laughs> so I was absolutely starving um, by the end of it. But really, I suppose I was super excited to get out into the world um, of uh, secondary school um, and just experience, I suppose, a whole new atmosphere and a whole new climate. Um, I think I was super excited to see if I could travel the world. Um, I had been to weirdly Lourdes in France um, about six times at that stage. Um, that's my dog saying, in case you're wondering what's going on there. Um, so yeah, I was just super excited I suppose to see where the world would take me. Um, little did I know when I was in sixth class um, that I would go over to the United Nations at the age of 16. Um, I think it was nearly five years after I graduated from sixth class. Um, I would take on the United Nations and talk about um, technology that can help people with disabilities. Um, I would graduate from college um, and study criminology in UCC 
And more importantly, I suppose I would take an Erasmus programme and go for a year abroad uh, to study over in the University of York, uh, which was a huge success where I stayed for nine months uh, without my parents. Just seven uh, complete and utter strangers who became, I suppose, my best friends um, for life. Um, I also didn't realise, um, I think in sixth class, I was writing little columns um, after games um, and in the hope that they would be published, obviously in the future. And I didn't realise, uh, little Joanne, I suppose, back then didn't know that in, I'd say, in less than 12 years that I would be writing uh, full time with the Irish Times and going to so many different games um, across the country and across the world. Um, from the Champions League semi-final where Liverpool took on Barcelona and as a Barcelona fan I was depressed because uh, Liverpool won 4-0 and all the way to Ireland versus Denmark and um, all the GA matches as well in between. Um, so whatever your hopes and whatever your dreams and your expectations are, um, make sure that they're not limited and um, make sure you think the best and the biggest dreams out there um, and most importantly I hope you work hard to achieve everything that you want um, in your life um, and I do wish you all the best um, sixth class going to secondary school it is an early time for some um, but I have no doubt you will absolutely make a great job of it um, and achieve all the great things you want so best of luck with everything and I hope you all get on well and have some fun. Hi everyone I'm Nora Patton and I guess I wear many hats. I'm an aeronautical engineer by background and I've studied and worked at the International Space University and currently I'm a citizen scientist astronaut candidate at Project Possum. And today I wanted to send a little message to all of you sixth class folk out there. Um, first of all, I know it's not an ideal way uh, to be finishing up primary school. You're probably missing your friends and your teachers. Um, I can't actually remember my last day of primary school, but I do remember feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous about making that transition from primary school to secondary school. Um, so if you are feeling that way, uh, that's how I was feeling when I was um, your age. Um, but what I would say is that some of the friends that I made when I went into first year in secondary school um, have been my best friends for most of my life and um, so that's been amazing in terms of who I got to meet and who I got to become friends with um, and also in secondary school you'll get an opportunity to kind of pave your own way um, so my message to you today is just to wish you the very best of luck um, and also as I like to say dream your own dreams and shoot for the stars the very best wishes. Bye-bye. Hi there, my name is Anjali Rauf. I am the author of two books, one called The Boy at the Back of the Class, the other one called The Star Outside My Window. Um, and I am here to wish sixth class a very happy graduation. Um, I know that this particular graduation um, and this particular chapter of your lives is going to be a strange one. Um, it'll definitely be a historical one, um, but I know that no matter what happens um, and what you expect from it, uh, you will look back on this period of your life, um, hopefully with good memories and many a smile. Um, now, when I was your age and I was leaving primary school, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do. All I knew was that I wanted to travel. Um, I loved Tintin, um, which is explains why I have snowy on my shoulder um, and I loved any character um, in the books that I read at school which who were brave enough who were brave enough to go on uh, journeys who were brave enough to go on adventures um, so I hope that when you leave and you go on uh, to explore the world um, that is awaiting you no matter what that journey might look like um, as you progress through it, I hope that you'll always stay true to what you love. Um, I hope that you'll always find people who will support you and champion you and increase your confidence, not chip it away. Um, I hope that you will also find the path that you want to take um, somehow. Now, my path uh, towards to, to here, to becoming an author and sending you a message, um, has been very hickledy pickledy. Uh, I've had 17 jobs, um, different, very different jobs. I've been working, I've worked in everything from a sweet factory when I was 14 to um, while I was at school, of course, um, to working in Victoria Station when I was doing my A-levels, to uh, working in government departments during my summer holiday so I could save up some money to go back to university. Um, all these kinds of explorations uh, 
led me to meet very interesting people, led me to explore worlds that I might not have otherwise. Um, and even though sometimes I was doing things that I didn't really enjoy, um, I still learned a lot. And all of those experiences have led to me writing, have led to me creating stories of my own. And you might not even want to go very far. Maybe you don't want to travel. Maybe you want to stay and explore um, other worlds next to you. And that itself is a journey. Um, but I think no matter what your journey, uh, you will find yourselves in different ways and different pathways. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy each and every one of those journeys no matter how tough they may seem at times i hope that they still lead you to where you want to go in life um anyway on that uh note i wish you the most beautiful graduation i hope that you will stay in touch and um stay beloved of the friends you are leaving uh your primary school with um and i hope that you will go on to find the wonders in your world um, no matter what you do. Bye! Hi, I'm Dave Rudden, author and beard aficionado, and I'm recording this to say congratulations on finishing primary school. School is different for everybody, but I'm sure there have been good days and bad days and weird days and days where you thought school would never end and you'd be stuck there forever, living under a chair, having to eat glanthors. It's a big day. And it's a big thing to be feeling right now. It's okay not to know how to feel about it. Uh, maybe you're sad to be leaving. Maybe you're excited for the next great adventure. Pro tip, it will involve Glantors. But remember, this isn't really the end of anything, unless you want it to be. You can hang on to friends, you can hang on to lessons learned, you can keep photos or keepsakes. Nothing is ever truly gone, as long as we remember it. Or maybe, maybe there are things you want to leave behind. Maybe you're excited for a fresh start, for a new chapter. For me, leaving school was a chance to meet new people, to step into a wider world. The great thing about starting up somewhere new is you get to look around and find your tribe. You get to find the people who make you happy, who are into the same things that you are, and stick with them. Remember that what makes you different, what makes you unlike everybody else in the world, is what makes you special guard those things. You are never wrong to like the things you like, even if other people don't like them. For example, am I weird because I like seeing how many pens I can fit in my beard? No. Has that resulted in me getting banned from some news agents? Maybe, but I'm still gonna do it. Whether you're looking forward to the next step, or you're a little nervous, or if you're just sleepy, this is the day to take a moment, put your feet up, chew on a glantor, and be proud of yourself for graduating. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Deirdre Sullivan. I'm a writer and uh, this is my message for sixth class. New beginnings are exciting, but also a little scary. And you're gonna need a friend to get you through. So my message to you is to be your own friend. I didn't always like who I was when I was a teenager and I wasn't always on my own side. And when I say be your own friend, that's not to say you need to be your only friend. Other people are wonderful and we need each other. But if you find that you are harder on yourself than you are on those around you, remember that you are just as deserving of kindness and compassion as other people are. You can push yourself and strive to do exciting, adventurous and wonderful things, but if there comes a time when you wish that you were someone else, that you had a different sort of heart or brain or shape, I really want you to remember that you deserve kindness and that you matter. And you don't have to do anything special or marvelous or fantastic to deserve kindness, you deserve it anyway. You are a person and you have value. And I hope that you can carry that with you on your journey because it makes the road a lot easier. And I wish you so well as you start secondary school and on every journey life takes you on during your time there and um, afterwards. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. I'm Robin Stevens, the author of the Murder Mouse and Ladylike Mystery series. And this is my message for sixth class. There are so many things I'd like to say to you right now. 
I'd like to tell you that I know how this ends or that I know it'll be all right. I wish I could say that this is just a story and you'll wake up tomorrow with only a dim memory of it. I wish in short that I was the author of the real world, which is something that writers feel often. I spend my time making up stories that feel entirely real to me and so it's sometimes a shock to come face to face with a narrative that I can't edit or fix. But there is something I can say. I can tell you that although I don't know what you'll do next and where you'll go in your lives, I do know that it will always be the most incredible adventure. I can tell you that you're marvelous and full of potential and important. I can tell you that you are the hero of your particular story and you have the ability to shape your corner of the universe in a hundred tiny ways. It is something you're truly proud of. I can tell you that you deserve the whole world and I hope you get it. You've already achieved so much and I can't wait to find out where you'll go in the next chapter of your story. Good luck.